a lot of them have not been taught anything or they, they haven't even been taught to focus on men at all to understand what things mean to understand anything about our demeanor and what you have to do unfortunately that's a byproduct of them not growing up with fathers unfortunately and so i think a lot of women are trying to make up rules as they go on how they interact with a man based on how they feel how they what they want from him in a particular time and i want this so you're supposed to provide it for me I've seen a lot of women learn that the hard way, and it's usually to the detriment of the entire relationship. A, a dude usually has to go off and say, I need space or exaggerate that particular, you know, need for that. And then, of course, you're going to hurt her feelings. Now you got to patch her up after, you know. So I think that's that's really what it is, is that women weren't really taught how to interact with men, what things mean. He's not isolating you because he doesn't love you. He literally like that's how men process. I take shit personal. I've been I've communicated uh, with you already. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this clip. Get your guys' thoughts. Are you giving me space? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. What I'm telling you is if you see me act in a particular way, I'm not going nowhere. I'm just saying how we were rocking mm -hmm. hard, super hard. I'm off of my pivot right now. You get what I'm saying? I'm not in my prime in the game right now. I'm getting a cold sweats. I might have been sitting on the bench a little bit too long, so I need a little minute. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I need my I need a little minute to wrap back rain. on up. I need the Gatorade. I need the, I need I need Andre, the power juice. Andre, you get what I'm Andre. saying? Andre. But we still in the game. I'm just saying when it comes down to me extra being on you, how I'm normally on you, I'm going through my own thing right now, so I need a little bit more time for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm still giving you time, but I need a little bit more time to myself. So ultimately, I'm not backing off of you. But what I'm saying is, give me a little space here. Mm -hmm. So if you see me not on you, don't take it personal. That's what I'm saying. So it, that's that's not a point in time to, to, to personalize it, get defensive, regardless of if you're an emotional creature or not. You need to check that shit. Yeah, that's true. Check but, it. Uh, mm -hmm. What is it? Are because you're saying you're giving me space. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. What I'm telling you is, if you see me act in a particular way, I'm not going nowhere. I'm just saying how we were rocking mm -hmm. hard, super hard. I'm off of my pivot right now. You get what I'm saying? I'm not in my prime in the game right now. I'm getting a cold sweats. I might have been sitting on the bench a little bit too long, so I need a little minute. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I need my I need a little minute to wrap back rain. on up. I need the Gatorade. I need the, I need I need Andre, the power juice. Andre, you get what I'm Andre. saying? Andre. But we still in the game. I'm just saying when it comes down to me extra being on you, how I'm normally on you, I'm going through my own thing right now, so I need a little bit more time for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm still giving you time, but I need a little bit more time to myself. So ultimately, I'm not backing off of you. But what I'm saying is, give me a little space here. Mm -hmm. So if you see me not on you, don't take it personal. That's what I'm saying. So it, that's that's not a point in time to, to, to personalize it, get defensive, regardless of if you're an emotional creature or not. You need to check that shit. Yeah, that's true. Check but, it. Uh, mm -hmm. What is it? Mm, who's that lady's voice? All right. <laughs> Yo, dude, dude's got to stop with these metaphors. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. Oh, like, right. Bro, I'm still lost. He's talking about sex or he's talking about relationships. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, oh, look, I thought first Yo. I thought he, he was talking about, oh, I was like, so y'all getting ready for round two. So you just right. need to be having sex, right? And I'm like, oh, no, he talking about the relationship. Yeah. yeah. I know what he was saying. I completely agree with him though. And I think that women should take the time to step back and learn a man in his silence, honestly. Um, I know a lot of women will say, Oh, I want him to talk and I, I and like she said in the video, but you said you need space. Get that man some space. Like maybe he just needs some thinking space. Maybe he just needs to figure it out. Maybe he just is taking his time to process. And I think Sometimes women, we want men to be so far up our asses sometimes where it's just like he just, he needs his time too to, to, to think things out. And don't take it personal because if he's not walking out the door and saying, I don't want to be with you no more, then that just means he just needs a little bit of space. And that's OK. We don't have to take everything. I think that's when women turn into little children and we're like, but why aren't you talking to me? And why aren't you laying with me? And we're in the same room. And why won't you talk to me? I always, I say there's, there's never anything. I'm okay with a good awkward silence. It's not awkward to me. <laughs> it's not awkward to me. Like, you know what I mean? Some people will feel awkward because they're not filling that space with something to say. And sometimes silence is okay. 
it's okay to sit in silence. It's okay to be silent. Um, but I, I completely understood what he what he was saying, and I think that sometimes um, that is needed for you get to know your person because your person doesn't always have the words right then and there for you, and that's where you have to be a little bit comfortable in the unknown, trusting that the known will will make itself known. And it's but how it's you not, communicate. It's not on your time all the time. It's how you communicate it as well, because I think if, if you need space, it's how you let that person know, you know, what's going on um, with you. You can't just, you know, be on and then the next minute you off and you don't tell them what's going on. And you're saying, I, I was I was having space. I needed my own space. But you don't let them know what's going on because it was on the flip side. And um, a woman wasn't giving a man that affection and that attention. And she just said, I, I needed space. And she just went and had her space and didn't communicate that with him. It would be a problem. So I think it's how it's communicated to that person. I think um, this is one of those situations where I hate, I mean, I hate to use the term modern women so much, but it just fits. It just fits. A lot of them have not been taught anything or they, they haven't even been taught to focus on men at all to understand what things mean to understand anything about our demeanor and what you have to do. Unfortunately, that's a byproduct of them not growing up with fathers, unfortunately. And so I think a lot of women are trying to make up rules as they go on how they interact with a man based on how they feel, how they, what they want from him in a particular time. And I want this. So you're supposed to provide it for me. I've seen a lot of women learn that the hard way. And it's usually to the detriment of the entire relationship. A, a dude usually has to go off and say, I need space or exaggerate that particular, you know, need for that. And then, of course, you're going to hurt her feelings. Now you got to patch her up after, you know. So I think that's that's really what it is, is that women weren't really taught how to interact with men, what things mean. He's not isolating you because he doesn't love you. He literally like that's how men process. You got to you got to think, and especially with me. I don't talk. Ninety nine percent of my problems are processed with a, a corona a sit down and a look at the tv 99 percent of my problems i learned to fix myself it's in fact i'll sit with it and realize it's not even a big damn deal in the first place so i think women are so caught up in being what you need because they need to process verbally so much i don't like talking as a matter of fact i don't i don't talk to my own family on the phone text me you see what i'm saying so yeah but, can uh, I respond? I heard, can I respond to that real quick? I heard funny. the Lapeep Network got a one African limit, so I'm gonna I'm gonna jump down and I'm gonna see y'all. <laughs> oh, we got two. <laughs> All right, y'all. Oh, we got three. Africans. <laughs> yeah, three Af two, Af two African limit. I'm gonna drop that. No, we got three. That's Jr. Oh, oh, four. Sorry, my bad. Let me yeah. respond back to um my brother Trigger Mike. Would that guy? Would the video play? It did nothing but a New York City playbook. <laughs> when talk about women don't know how to stay focused. The problem is a lot of these brothers, I was told back in the hoods, stop giving these women yes. too much eggplant. When you get it too much yes. eggplant, what? They get <laughs> when you get a woman too much eggplant, they get too uh, possessive because they don't get the daily dose as they want it. So when you get their space and the space a little bit too long for them, they will start asking what the hell is going on. What did I do? Is it me? Or are you talking to somebody else? Or the someone in your crib? Even though you're trying to build yourself up, the problem is you overdid it the first couple of times. And this is why we have we have these with the core possessive female, whereby you could be at work talking to a female that think that's your new girl. Who are you talking to? Who's she? What are you all talking about? X, Y, and D. And I noticed that because when the guy was speaking these terminology, I was like, oh boy, this is 1997 again. The same playbook. I've heard it. I know a dude who had that same playbook juggling four girlfriends. One in the Bronx, one in Brooklyn, one in Queen, and one in Staten Island. You wonder why he hasn't got caught yet. Mm. 